All right, honors come. We are going to learn how to see the types of equations that we have learned to balance. And then we're going, now we're going to try and see what type of reactions they are. <clears throat> Excuse me. There are five different types of chemical reactions that we are primarily going to focus on this year. They are synthesis, right here, synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, double replacement, and combustion. So all of them have simple patterns, and I'm hoping to be able to show you how to recognize a simple pattern so that you can tell me what type of reaction we have going on. So let's start off with synthesis. Synthesis is a chemical reaction which two or more substances, we're going to just use X and Y, react to produce a single product, YX. Synthesis means to make, right? So when we look at synthesis, we are going to be making something, right? Or building. Making or building. So basically, synthesis means that we are taking simple things and we're putting them together to make something more complex, okay? Two compounds can also combine to form one big more complex compound or an element and a simple compound can combine to make one more complex compound. So basically the whole idea of synthesis, we're taking two simple things and we're putting them together to make one more complex thing, okay? So here's an example. We have sodium and we have chlorine and we're gonna put them together. Now, the product is not NaCl2. We don't just slam things together. The thing that we have to be aware of is the charges that these elements are going to acquire when we put them, sorry, when we put them together in a compound. <clears throat> so let's look at our periodic table really quick. So if I look at sodium, it's right here. It's going to acquire a positive one charge. So I like to do this. I like to put the charge that things acquire above them so I know what charges I'm working with. And then chlorine is right here. It's going to acquire a neg negative one charge. So I'm going to put the charge of negative one above the chlorine. Now that is per atom. Notice I've got two chlorines together because yes, chlorine is diatomic. Remember our diatomic molecules? Bromine, iodide, nitrogen, chlorine, right? Like hydrogen, oxygen, and fluorine, right? But when of these charges, these are as individual atoms. So how am I gonna put these together in, as we have for ionic compounds, we want the overall charge of the whole molecule to be zero. So how many sodiums and how many chlorines do I need to have it add up to a charge of zero? Hopefully you're saying one of each, positive one plus negative one equals zero. So I will need NaCl. Now, notice that I am, I am writing the formulas first. So I am writing the formulas first. So write those formulas first, balance charges. Balance those charges and then once you've got the formulas written and the skeleton equation, then go back and balance the equation. Go back and balance the equation second. Formulas first, equation second. So let's look at what we need to do to balance this. I've got one sodium here. I've got one sodium here. I'm okay. I've got two chlorines here. I've only got one chlorine here. So I need to double this up, which means I need to go back and double up my sodiums. Okay? All right. Next one. Calcium and oxygen. Once again, we need to check the charges that we're going to have. So calcium is going to be a positive two and oxygen is going to be a negative two. So let's put those charges in here. So calcium is gonna be a positive two and oxygen will 
end up being a negative two. So we need to put them together on a one to one basis, one calcium, one oxygen. Now that my formula is written, now I go back and balance the, the equation. So one calcium, one calcium, I'm good here. Two oxygens, one oxygen. So I need to go back and double my calcium oxides and my calciums, okay? So hopefully you can see that we are taking simple things and we're putting them together. Okay, next one, we have sulfur dioxide and water. This creates sulfurous metals or sulfurous acid. So let's look at this, one sulfur, one sulfur, I'm okay. Two oxygens plus one is three oxygens. I've got three oxygens. Two hydrogens and two hydrogens. I'm good, okay? And then sodium oxide with water. Let's see, I've got two sodiums here. I've got one sodium here. So I'm gonna double this up. Let's see, one oxygen plus one oxygen gives me two oxygen. There's two oxygens and two hydrogens and two hydrogens. So if I take metal oxides and put them with water, I will get hydroxides. And if I put um, sodium oxides or even nitrogen oxides together with water, I will get acids. This right here, non-metal oxides with water form acids. This is how acid rain is formed. Okay, this will happen with our nitrates and our sulfates. So nitrogen monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and sulfur trioxide. These all make acid rain because that's what they do. All right, so let's look at a word problem really quick. The solids aluminum and sulfur react to make aluminum sulfite. So aluminum and sulfur react to make aluminum sulfide. So, hmm, the charge on aluminum is a plus three and the charge on sulfur is a negative two. So what ratio do I need? Hopefully you said I needed two aluminums and three sulfurs. Okay, so what do I need to do to go back and balance the equation? I need to do two aluminums and I need to do three sulfurs. Okay, and if you want to be really picky, yes, these would be solids, all of them. Okay, water and dinitrogen pentaoxide. So water and dinitrogen pentaoxide gas. And let's make this liquid react to produce a solution of nitric. X come from eights, right? So NO3 is nitrate, it's a negative one. So that means we're gonna to have to put one hydrogen with it. Nitric acid. Okay, so let's see. I've, I'm gonna start with my nitrogens here. I've got two nitrogens here. So I'm gonna double this up. So two hydrogens two hydrogens, Let's see, one, six oxygens, six oxygens. So that works, okay? So synthesis, we take something simple, put them together to make something more complex. Okay, decomposition is just what it sounds like. It is the opposite of synthesis. So decomposition is breaking things down. So I'm taking something relatively complex and I'm breaking it down into something simpler, okay? So some chemical reactions are, essent are essentially the opposite of what um, synthesis is. Oh, come on. What is going on here? 